Okay, today I want to talk about something called the superior oblique muscle, which is in your eye, and its role in keeping your eyes level and some conditions in which it might play a part. Okay, so here is a little eyeball. Um, now the eye's got lots of about three pairs or six different sort of muscles. Most of them just sort of pull straight out. But the superior oblique um, is the big is the big muscle and it wraps kind of like right the way round the eye. Um, I think it sort of goes from like about there, so at the back it would look like that. But you can see it doesn't just go straight across, it kind of goes round in a sort of S shape and it allows the eye basically to rotate and it keeps the vision level. Now obviously if it's not working properly it's hard to keep your vision level. Um, what you might get for instance if you have a strabismus where one, one eye moves out, one eye might be working fine um, but this is a bit weak so the vision doesn't stay level. Um, so what the person will do is they'll tip the head to one side um, to keep it level. Um, now one thing they have found that can help with stuff like this is what is called yoked prisms which I've talked about in my other video um, but I've just stuck a pair of prisms on a pair of glasses here. Now they're cut out bits of ruler but this one is going down, this one is going up um, and what it does is when, when people wear them is they find they adjust their, their vision because the, um, they're helping the eyes come back in the right position and what happens after a time is you know the eyes because the posture is better the eyes start working eventually as they should do and you can stop wearing them. Um, and it's particularly useful in close focus tasks. Um, I think most people with convergence insufficiency or um, strabismus would say the main problem is when they do close focus tasks. Um, when you're looking at the distance it's easy to keep the eyes level because you're not using so many muscles. Um, when you're looking at something close focus you're using much more muscle and if there's a weakness that's when it shows up. So particularly um, wearing prism glasses, um, the yoke prisms for, for close focus, that does readjust the posture um, especially during that sort of critical sort of activity um, which hopefully which helps the eye to sort of you know eventually sort of build up a bit of muscle probably do some exercises as well um, and you know eventually you do get the eyes sort of level and you don't have to keep wearing these forever. Okay, wait, come on.